Because it's like, oh, you're there. You're in the same studio. So with 24 hours of, of, of crafting, are you going to see your wife, Kelly? Is she probably. Just gonna be, probably not. All no. right. Well, Lou Caputo is back. And as all of our origami items, this is a customer pick, customer favorite. 471 reviews. Over 355 are perfect five-star reviews. Here's another one with a price break that's good now. And even though you're going to see Lou over the Labor Day weekend, you're not going to see this. Mm -mm. So if you want it, this is another one we don't get to do very often. Again, because we can't keep them right. in stock. Exactly. It, it, uh, you know, well, and here's the funny part about this one. I wish I could take credit for inventing this. Yeah. You know, this is one that was invented by our customers. It, right. You know, and, and origami was named after the ancient Japanese art of paper yes. folding. So like all origami pieces, you know this one's going to fold up. The neat thing about this guy, though, Shannon, yeah. is that this one, when we say no assembly required, <laughs> watch this. This is ridiculous, okay? Watch what I'm going to do here. Oh Just God. pull this close like that. Now, when you get this home, this is what it's going to look like. Come on. Yeah, my step ladder is harder than this. <laughs> exactly. I'm serious, it's harder well, to unfold my step ladder than this is. Watch this though, watch okay. this. Because I, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate the sides and gravity does the work for right. me. Just open oh, it up like come that on. and give it a little tiny push, <laughs> just like that. Now. Notice something about this. You know how this one got invented, right? Because the customers said, yes. can we have something? Because, exactly, because like me, I love my origami, but I was long said, oh gosh, can I get something that's a little prettier? Yeah. You know, and this is, it's pretty, it's functional. So this is our black choice, obviously. Mm -hmm. Are we calling this walnut, Rick, or what do we call it? Oh, oak. We're this calling is the it oak. oak. So black or oak in the, in the system. Right. And the thing is, yes, oh, black is the most limited, kind of like that closet organizer that I had with Lou last hour. Boy, I got to tell you, this is sharp. And it's Inical? the perfect shape shape and size yes. too. Well, the nice thing about this is this, first of all, okay, the entire frame on this is steel, powder coated steel, yeah. okay? Now, if you went out and bought something like this and say you want to spend about this much, you'd get something square. Yes. It would be made out of particle board and it would require a lot of time for you to put together. Yeah. You saw how easy this this fell open. Notice it has this waterfall design, the tiered shelves going yeah. down there. So it's a really nice look to it. These are all furniture grade wood, yep. okay? Each one of these will hold 30 pounds, each shelf. Oh, nice. So it's okay. 120 pound weight capacity yeah. oh, on that's this. Good. Yeah, look at the back of it right here. And you can see it has this nice little cross hatch design on the back. Uh, it's, it's decorative it's also functional it is you know it adds to the whole structure of this thing and again you know this is a piece that you could set this up against the wall you could have it freestanding yeah people are gonna love it they, they really are and once more we cannot keep it in stock virtually all perfect radians i love the, sh the size and the shape of this i mean of course you're gonna love the fact that i don't even need my toolkit of the butter knife to put this together <laughs> it literally sets, sets itself up but we've all got that little kind of crazy little corner that little wall that little area this is perfect whether it's door dormitory, whether it's office, mm -hmm. whether it's powder bath, wherever you've got those little storage solutions. I love the look of a pedestal stink in, in a bathroom, but the problem is then you use, lose the cabinet. Where are you going to put the toilet paper? Where are you going to put the, the, the towels? Where are you going to put all the stuff? Exactly. And this looks pretty at the same time, so it is your perfect solution. No, it really is, and I love the way that if you notice that, you know, the difference between the oak one over here and the black one, yeah. the way they're decorated, the way that you, you put your tchotchkes on this. I've seen yeah. people use these for small entertainment systems. Oh, sure. uh, you could use this in an office and put a full-size printer, fax, scanner, copier, the whole big deal on the sh one of these shelves at the bottom here. Plus reams of paper, plus all kinds yes. of things because this will hold a lot of weight. In kitchens, people love to yeah. use these in kitchens for their kitchen electrics, mixing bowls, just say, perfect. spices. If you don't have a linen closet, you know, in a bathroom, right. this is perfect, as you were just saying. It is. I was, actually, I was thinking of this for the kitchen. You know, the, the big thing that we always say with origami is do you, do you need it, of course you do, but the only mistake that you can make is by only getting one. And Lou knows if, if there is an overriding feeling or sentiment when you read those customer reviews is, why didn't I get more than one? And that happens over and over and over and over again because in the world of storage solutions, like you said, Lou, this is a solution. It doesn't create a separate problem. Right. There really isn't another product quite like origami in the world. No, there's not. There's and not. that's the thing. With a lot of the shelving systems that are out there, you know this as well oh. as I do. Yeah. You, you put them together one time <laughs> and you will never take them apart again, especially you if you've won't. got kids that are in college. Because a lot of folks out there I know just this weekend just started dropping their kids yeah. off to college. And maybe you walked in that dorm room or their apartment, you looked around and you said, you know, you could use some furniture in here. Yes. I'm going to tell you right now, this is some of the best dorm furniture you're ever going to get. It Why? Really For exactly what we were just talking about. Because typically, yeah. particle board furniture, how many times do you move it? Oh. One time. Yeah, that's, that's not a joke. It. Because it starts to fall apart. It With does. this, watch this. I'm gonna 
to set this up again that quickly. That's how fast it sets up. Then when you want to break it down, you don't have to go out and rent a trailer. No. There's no van. You so just cool. close it up like this, throw in the back of the car, the SUV, and you can put a bunch of them there and you take them with you. And because it's steel, listen to this. Yeah. I mean, that's the real deal. Powder coated steel on this. These are made to set up and take down. Now, you want to see one of my favorite tricks? Okay, what? Okay, watch this. Right. I'm going to open this guy up here. This is not the trick part, although it is kind of amazing. <laughs> I was All right, I'm going to set this one up here. Me. Which one do I want to move? I'll All move right. this one. No, actually, no, let's do the black on black. Okay. So people can see what this is going to look like. If these letters stay standing. Okay. There we go. It's like a magic trick. Ooh, I'm okay. impressed. So here's one of the things that I like to do with these. You can oh. use these as a freestanding structure in a room and make yeah. a little. A frame, yes. put it up against the wall, have it in the middle of the room. If you own a store right. as a fixture, as opposed to spending all that money on the fixtures that you have sure. to buy, this is way better. Oh, that's a really flea cute markets. idea. Absolutely. Isn't that flea cool? markets, you name it. And it really, it's built to last, but it looks so pretty, I have to say. Watch this. Okay. Okay. You know? If you turn them this way, yeah. oh, will the letter stay? Oh, I'm impressed. You're doing good. I am you're too, doing actually. Good. <laughs> Watch this. Put them side by side like this. Now we've got the start of a bookshelf, yes. a wall unit. Imagine two or that three of these stacked. In Isn't that cool? And, and really if you is. think about it, to get steel, to get the furniture grade wood on this, and this look, oh, yeah. this is pretty cool. I, I mean, I still remember the, the bookcase that I, I bought for my dormitory. Sure. And it was, it was particle board. Everything started peeling. It was a nightmare <laughs> to try to put together. Right. And really, it was big and clunky. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we love our books. We love our bookcases. I love books. I love magazines. For me, this would be great for my extra cookbooks and my, you know, oh, yeah. my periodicals because I do a lot of cooking. The other thing is, not only is it pretty, not only is it functional, it is a price break. So Lou is not here over Labor Day weekend with this. So actually, you know, Rick, could we actually make that call out available? At, oh, perfect. Uh, so the flex pay does expire at midnight. When you see Suzanne kick off that big crafting, that big scrapbooking event, then of course that flex pay is no longer valid. So it's less than $20, you would never know that that set itself up. Now, okay, so people at home yeah. didn't see what I was just doing, but every yeah. time we saw something that a guy was getting excited about, I was pointing at it <gasps> to Shannon going, look, well, look, look, at, oh, the look at that, look at the dog. Yeah, I mean, look at this, in the kitchen. But we saw this in just this short video clip. Yeah. We saw it in the kitchen. We saw it with the dog bowls on it. We saw it being used as a bar. We saw it in an office. We saw it as a bedside table. Yeah. That Now, that one right there, that was actually one of the customers who suggested that to us. And I thought that was brilliant because on my bedside table, I've yeah. got like a lamp, a oh clock, Lord. and I've got a watch box, and that's it. Yeah. I got no room. <laughs> I got okay? no room either. If you need more space, look at all the surface area on this. Absolutely. And, and basically, you designed this. You requested. You Origami made it for you. That's right. And so you get it for this show. Uh, thanks again for the call out, guys. That flex pay does expire at the stroke of midnight. So you know this is your perfect solution. We're also paying to send it to you, and that free shipping also goes away at midnight. So this is your final opportunity. And even though you will see Lou with a lot of great items throughout the Labor Day weekend, you will not see this. So it's rare that we have an opportunity to showcase it on the air. The black is the most limited. Yes, it's decorative. Yes, it's pretty. Yes, it's functional. But more importantly, it, 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 no tools or no uh, setup required. But it's also very stable. You know, the thing is, when, oh, we yeah. talk, when we talk about these things that, oh, you don't need tools or you can transport it, normally they're kind of rickety. You know what right. I mean? Normally you wouldn't, you know, put books or things that you really want on there because they're like, okay, is it going to tip over? This, you actually feel like things are really stable. Oh, yeah. Well, um, again, powder-coated steel on the frame, furniture grade wood on the shelves and just look at this in all yeah. these different rooms remember you can put 30 pounds on That's each shelf it really is it if you really think is. about it at the end of the day i guarantee you you don't have a shelf in your house that is 30 pounds of worth of anything yeah on it. okay no, you're right i mean but look we went from like a like a, a foyer now we're going into a, a, a um, an entertainment center here a living room kind of deal no matter what room you put it in there it is getting closer to the kitchen yeah see with the spice racks and everything yeah. on it and it works in every single room do we have another one i'm kind of excited to see what it's going to be. There we go. Living room. Another one. But you know what's so crazy? When you look at those pictures, nobody in any of their born days would think that that was, first of all, less than $80, $79. Right. You go, I, I almost said the name of the store. You know the store that I'm talking about, I do. right? I do. You know the store that I'm talking about. And they're, they're kind of known. They're very esoteric. They're very clean. You know, people love them. But, you know, things are very expensive. Even that barn, this has kind of that barn look. Mm -hmm. If you're getting the black in particular, has that very, you know, the place I'm talking about. I mean, I think to just to breathe their air. 
it's $79. Ain't nothing $79 in that store. And this really does remind me of that. So that's what I think is so funny about those little before and afters and those lifestyle shots. No one would ever, ever, ever expect that this was this affordable or this sturdy, so portable. It looks like one of those big, expensive, decorative things from... It does. Stores. It does. But you know what? Also, nobody would ever look at it and say, like, oh, my gosh, that's origami. Yes. And no, that's you're the right. crazy thing. You're well, right. I used, to, I used to tell people this was the un-origami <laughs> origami. Just because it looks so The anti-origami. The anti-origami. <laughs> but the thing is... Deep down inside, in its soul, it is origami. It is. It has that powder-coated steel. It has the furniture-grade wood. It has this. No assembly required. It love, just falls love, open. Love. And you can, believe me when I tell you, I do this many times during our shows yeah. with the same uh, shelves, and they are durable. I they mean, are. they are meant to open and close over and over and over. They and over. are indeed. Charlotte in Texas got it before the flex and the oh. shipping expires. Charlotte, you're live with Lou and Shannon. Welcome to HSN. Hey. Hey. Hey, Charlotte. So where yes. are you going to put your origami, my dear? Well, I'm going to put this, another one, in my sunroom to put plants on. I've got one of the tall ones, the taller ones, and it's... Charlotte, honey, uh, if you just turn your TV down and just listen through the phone, you're getting... Oh, I thought I turned it off. Okay. <laughs> um... And also, I've got 10 of them. Whoa! Uh, I got the big ones, and we've lined our double garage with them, and we have boxes uh, sitting on on all of them that I get from HSN. And uh, I have two of the big ones in turquoise in our game room. And I have some things that I had when I was younger from the 50s. I have an old hi-fi radio and record player. Uh, and some other memorabilia sitting in that room on the turquoise ones. And I got two of the ones with three shelves that fold, have the wings that fold down on the ends. And I have those by my laundry room. My husband's had a stroke. And that's uh, his job is to fold clothes and put them up. Wow. So I have them by the laundry room, and he folds clothes, puts them on there, and then he can just roll it back yeah. to... Uh, the laundry room back to where we'll put the towels and stuff mm -hmm. and I put another one in the closet for him to put his uh, underwear and socks and things on that he can reach and then the hanger is above that so we've got two layers of well, uh, uh, Charlotte, you said it all. I apologize, sweetheart. They're shooing us long because the clock is expiring. But, mm. Charlotte, you're obviously an origami fan. We yeah. thank you, Miss Charlotte. Best to you and your hubby. Boy, 10, that might be a record. I, that's a big one, yeah. I, I think that yeah. might be a record. So, remember, this is your only opportunity to grab it. And if you're like Charlotte, remember the flex pay and the shipping goes away at midnight. Mm -hmm. But you're coming back. We're going to see a lot of you over the next few days, yes, right? Yes, 7 a.m. tomorrow will be here. Okay. Whoa. Okay. I got to go. You got to go. <laughs>